Let's go across to Mr. Umesh Rivankar, who joins us now uh, on the phone line. Uh, Mr. Rivankar, good morning to you and thanks a lot for joining us today. Uh, we've seen a sharp fall in the stock price and uh, obviously that's come on back of uh, off the balance sheet item, which has been reported for the annual report of FI18, where it seems that there is an outstanding corporate guarantee of nearly 870 cr uh, crores towards uh, SVL. Could you give us more clarity on this? What is this? When was this actually issued and why it has been reported only in the the FI 18 annual report? Uh, see, this has been reported in the past also. Uh, it was under the contingent liability, under guarantee, it was shown. This time we have shown it exclusively, separately. That's the only difference. And uh, we are quite, uh, this um, uh, loan uh, uh, guarantee is 650 crores with uh, uh, the interest. And uh, next year, 2019 is the maturity. And we are confident that the uh, company will service the loan. Confident that you'll be able to service uh, the loan, but has there been any sort of default with regard to interest payments, sir? Uh, you see, it is uh, uh, bullet payments. So there is no uh, 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 servicing on interest okay. on a regular basis. But any specific so, reason that in the past you were showing it as a contingent liability and only for FI18 in the annual report you've explicitly shown this uh, exposure? Uh, no, no, it is, uh, there is no reason as such, but we wanted to uh, show it uh, um, uh, more on a disclosure, that's all, nothing more than that. And when was this loan uh, given, uh, 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 I mean, was it in FI 18 or it was way before that? It was 2014. 2014. It's, it's a guarantee given. It's a guarantee, yeah. For, yeah, it's a guarantee given for the uh, NCD raised by the uh, SVL. Okay, but do you foresee any sort of default because a couple of brokerage reports, sir, I've been reading this morning, they're suggesting that this could also be a threat to your EPS for FI19. Um, no, I, I, I see. We have been, uh, the board has been looking into the performance of the company uh, every quarter and we are confident that they'll be able to resolve the issue uh, when it comes for maturity. Okay, uh, so my colleague Shraddha Babla joins, uh, joins in into this conversation. She has some questions for you. Shraddha, over to you. Uh, thanks, Navneet. Uh, uh, very good morning, Mr. Devankar. Thank you for joining us. Just want to understand or get a little more of the details on SVN Limited and what has gone wrong. And also, in your opinion, what are the chances of uh, this guarantee being invoked? Uh, see, we have... In, we are in touch with uh, uh, SVL management and we are confident that it will be addressed and resolved. Uh, so, um, so right now we are quite um, positive and we have the uh, shares pledged to us and there is a, a, a more than one of times coverage on the valuation. Uh, sir, but if you could tell us, uh, so is it correct that uh, the ratings of SVL Limited have been downgraded in the recent past? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. It was Right, so, so back, what yeah. are the issues that SVL Limited is facing? And I believe, it, does this have to do anything with Sriram EPC? Because I believe Sriram EPC is a subsidiary of SVL Limited. Yes, SVL Limited, you are right. All right, so, so this, whatever uh, default or, da sorry, downgrade, which is there is more uh, to do with concerns regarding Sriram EPC. Is that, is that correct? Uh, I think so, yes. All right. Uh, sir, uh, again, uh, when are these uh, non-convertible debentures uh, of uh, SPL Limited due? Uh, it's the 2019 June. All right. And sir, you say you're confident that they'll be able to repay it. Why? So what, where does this confidence stem from? No, this is the, uh, normally these businesses, uh, the APC and the renewable energy business are long gestation businesses. And uh, we are uh, the uh, even Shiram EPC. I understand that they have a lot of orders in hand, so I'm confident that uh, they will uh, uh, manage to uh, uh, um, successfully service the loan. So in a worst case scenario, uh, assuming the uh, corporate guarantee gets invoked by June 2019, what would be the impact on Sriram Transport Finance uh, uh, financials, the book value? 
uh, I don't think there will there will be any significant uh, 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 impact. And uh, more, more, we are confident that it will be addressed. Sir, but that would obviously lead to some increase in credit costs as well. If, if it is happen, yes, you are right. But uh, the, I don't think that will be the case. All right. And so just uh, wanted a clarification. I'm sorry, I could have probably uh, missed your uh, conversation with Navneet. But uh, is this the first time that this off-balance sheet um, liability has been disclosed in the annual report? No, it was under contingent liability. Under guarantee, it was always there. All right. All right. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Nandi, that's all from uh, my uh, side. Uh, sir, w one second. I just have one more question uh, for you. Uh, Sriram EPC is a subsidiary of SVL. And correct me if I'm wrong, sir, Sriram EPC has also been referred to NCLT. So do you think they have the required funds to service all the debt they currently have? No, I think they are addressing that issue and they'll be able to handle it. So, but what measures are being taken by the company to address these issues? Because I think there's a fear in the market and that's probably the reason why I've seen such a sharp correction in the stock price today. Yes. Uh, no, no. See, we are taking the feedback and uh, that their management is quite confident of managing the situation. Uh, sir, um, uh, have you heard anything from your investors, your shareholders, post the annual report uh, which was released? Because this is the first time explicitly you have mentioned in your annual report that uh, corporate guarantee has been provided by Sriram Transport towards uh, SVL. So any feedback that you are getting from the investors and the shareholding community? No, they have been asking for the, uh, the details, the way you have been asking now. So we are uh, talking to them. We are addressing their concern. Right. Um, so, Shraddha, yourself, if you could tell us a little more about uh, how uh, much does uh, Sriram EPC or how big is Sriram EPC as one of the subsidiaries of SVL Limited? What are the other uh, businesses of SVL Limited? Uh, because uh, you do say that they will be able uh, to repay these um, NCDs when they become due. So, is it that SVL Limited will be able to service Sriram EPC's uh, uh, NCDs? Yeah, yeah, we are quite uh, confident. See, we review the, uh, uh, their uh, performance uh, uh, every quarter and we are getting uh, comfort that they'll be able to uh, uh, do the uh, needful. So, uh, I don't, you may or may not have these numbers handy, but uh, if you could uh, tell us uh, FI18's uh, profit and uh, net worth of SVA Limited, sir, if you have the numbers. I don't have the number right now. All right. All right. Thank you very much, sir.